Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on a new system that Microsoft is currently working on, which is an open source project called AI Jarvis. And it basically is trying to basically create a system which can autonomously have AI work in autopilot using human interaction as well as task lists. So before we actually get into that, I would highly recommend you check out some of my other videos. I have a lot of different autonomous videos focusing on different apps that you can actually use right now. Currently, Microsoft's app AI Jarvis isn't ready yet, but I'm just going to be showing you guys as well as some of the executions, as well as some of the things that it plans to achieve in the future. So with that thought, guys, please subscribe, please like, and leave a comment down in the description below if you want to see anything. So let's get right into it. So what is this AI Jarvis? And what is the main goal of it? So basically the actual goal that Microsoft is trying to create is that this project is trying to develop an autonomous system that can complete tasks as well as focus on executing models, which we'll be looking at further down and later on in the video. So recently Microsoft, I believe this past week has released a paper called Hugging GTP, which I'll leave down in the description below. And basically what they're trying to do with Hugging GPT is that this is a system where large language models can connect to Hugging Face, which is basically a hub for which contains models with an abundance of open source softwares as well as code repository that aids in better AI prompt generation as well as task creations, which you can see over here. I believe there's over 170k models, which is absolutely insane. And there's an abundance of different things that you can use to create using AI generation. So one second, sorry. Sorry. So there's different models that you can use in terms of what you want to complete. So basically, if you want to complete anything that you want, like you can basically search for any model and you'll be able to find it using this hub face. Obviously, certain specific things are going to be hard to find, but you can still find certain things that will help you as well as find something similar to achieve your task. But basically, this is just the hub in which the actual Jarvis system is going to be using. So what Microsoft has done is that it has since they have a large mo access to the largest model, which is GTP, GPT 3.5, as well as GPT 4. And these models have a vast understanding of various AI generation algorithms to generate responses for their autonomous AI autopilot task management. So what they're going to be using is using GPT to actually formulate as well as do the research with, with the additional benefit of using the models on hugging face. So with the combination of two, it's going to be an autopilot application system, which leverages both of the languages as well as the capabilities of ChatGPT and numerous AI models in Hugging Face to complete tasks. And this thing will be called Hugging GPT, which is in the model over here. And it can basically complete sophisticated AI tasks in different modalities as well as domains and achieving impressions, impressive results in language vision, speech, and as well as other challenging tasks that might be very hard for us humans to do on a day to day basis. And basically the aim is to provide such applications so that we're able to ease off on the day to day tasks. Now this approach paves a way towards advanced artificial intelligence as well as AGI. I mean, that's what it basically, sorry, sorry. And, and it basically paves the way for this. There's one thing that I really wanted to note down guys. And that's basically, it's worth noting that this technology is closed source and meaning is that these companies as well as ChatGPT, OpenAI, this is something I really wanted to share. It's quite expensive for smaller companies to implement. Moreover, no private citizen or organization would want their private data stored in a company, meaning that whatever you tend to implement as well as whatever you try to execute is being stored as well as that data is being stored with these companies such as OpenAI as well as Microsoft and other AI companies that are trying to create these systems. Now, I personally would want my private data to be not tracked obviously and Microsoft feeds on open source models but they don't disclose the technical implementation of the core element of this proposal which is GPT. Now, the idea behind Jarvis is to connect ChatGPT with the largest open source model hub to execute tasks autonomously. But what I think would be best is that if there was something out there that 
it doesn't it's an open source whole like basic model like my, it's not a company that controls all of this it's something that is a vibe basically something that has more of a open source like implementation from the community it's this is a whole different topic which i can talk about later but that's just my idea but something more to back to the actual video the d idea behind jarvis as i said is to complete as well as execute tasks autonomously to implement this guys i'm going to be showing you a little while later but it requires open ai's api key as well as hug face cookie which i'll show now let me just give you a little better understanding of what it tries to do now as we saw in the previous videos as well as from baby agi which is another application as well as autopilot which utilizes the creation as well as the use of chat gpt as well as other llms to help execute tasks in this case it's going to be utilizing chat gpt as well as hugging face to do this so they both all three of these systems follow the same like flow flow chart but in this case there's a difference and the thing is and the ta there's four stages and the first stage is the task planning the second one is the model selection and the third one is the tax execution and the fourth one is obviously the response generation so what it does in the task planning is that you in this case you request it please generate an image where a girl is reading a book and her pose is the same as the boy in the image example.jpj and then this, please describe the new image with your voice so you give it a prompt and what it does is that it starts planning by researching as well as utilizing some of the other like support systems to find different outputs for this prompt now once the planning phase is done it moves on to the second selection which utilizes hugging face models and it searches through different models as you can see here it searches through three models it found something that is relevant to this task and it uses the model selection now the third step is the execution it uses the model as well as the objective they both correlate to, to each other and it works on predicting what will come out of this re response as well as creating the generation using the algorithm and that's when we have been given the actual image which we can see here it searches for an image from the task planning it uses the model to find as well as the generation which is done in stage three and then it is formulating the image to what we wanted from the original prompt and this is basically the flow of how this works with this model now there's also another thing i wanted to show which is over here let me zoom in a little bit i i by the way guys i highly recommend that you check this out it's very interesting and there's a lot more detail as to what it's trying to accomplish and what it's trying to reach in terms of its goal so i highly recommend that you check it out it's very in-depth and in how it actually processes these images as well as these prompts so definitely check it out it's a lot of information on this and i'll leave it down in the description now back over here so what it does is it's basically going to correlate hugging face and gtp and what it will do is it'll send the prompt to the controller controller then executes it by looking at the models which you saw and then it sends it back to the original response with the actual generation of what they actually wanted to create and that's basically the gist of how this process works guys it's very in-depth as well as very like complicated but what it tries to do is accomplish what we've seen in the previous algorithms as well as the applications from the other like companies now what we're trying to do in terms of system requirements as well as like how you can install it there's not really something sorry i've said that wrong but there's not something this actual app is still in continuous construction so there's not actually a hard uh basic source to actually work on but some of the requirements are is that you actually need a geforce rtx which is a very beasty uh driver that might cost a little bit right now but if you do have it it's definitely worth checking out it's a little bit more expensive uh, you might need a little bit more than 12 GB I would recommend 16 which is the standard 42 you should be good uh, like I said previously above for actually this is just some of the things that you want to check out if you're trying to run it but something that I talked about before is that you need the open AI key API key as well as the hugging face uh cookie to actually execute the cli 
Now you can run this on ChatGPT 3.5 as well as ChatGPT 4. So if you have these keys, you can definitely check it out. And if you have the requirements to do it, I definitely recommend that you execute as well as check it out. And that's basically the gist of what this actual application is trying to achieve with Microsoft Jarvis. So I hope you find this video very interesting, guys. Uh, if you want me to check out more things such as these autonomous AI applications, I'm definitely willing to do so. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, guys. It would mean the world to me. I really appreciate all the comments as well as the things that you guys are saying to me. It really means a lot to me, guys. Um, keep on providing you the best value so that you can basically use whatever that I'm giving you to create a better impact. So thank you so much, guys. That really, really means a lot to me. And with that thought, I'll see you guys next time, guys. Peace out.